Hi, this is Noah with Automus, and in this video we're going to look at SMS text message notifications and voice call notifications using System Center Operations Manager, PowerShell, and Twilio's messaging service. The problem we're addressing here is the problem with email notifications for alerts. In Operations Manager or any other monitoring system, Often we have a lot of alerts generating these notifications that come to us in email, and maybe we're overwhelmed. Maybe we don't see them because we're not monitoring email at certain times of the day. So the, the problem we have is we want some automated way to get us these alert notifications using SMS or voice phone calls when appropriate. And we don't want to have to integrate a modem or wireless technology into our ops manager deployment. So the goal really is just an inexpensive and effective way to get texts and voice notifications. The solution we'll be looking at in this case is a PowerShell-based method to do this. We'll use PowerShell to integrate with Twilio's web-based messaging service, which provides a way to deliver text messages and voice calls. And we'll use Operations Manager's native notification configuration methods. We don't have to integrate any third party here. It can all be done with a simple, relatively simple configuration with what comes out of the box with Operations Manager 2012. So this is a minimal cost way, and I think it's a fairly simple and low administrative burden approach to doing this. This diagram shows the situation we're dealing with. We've got System Center Operations Manager faithfully monitoring our data center. In the middle of the night, some kind of fire erupts. An alert is generated as usual, but our hapless admin is in bed at the moment, and he's not looking at his email for sure. Um, but he might have his phone on, and he might wake up to a phone call. So we decide what we need to do is generate a, a call out to him or a text out to him with the same information that he has in his email, at least to get him to wake up and uh, address the situation. So let's take a look at a demo to see this in action. Here in our Operations Manager management server, I have a subscription configured called SMS Alerts. Opening this up, we can see that this alert basically looks for a specific type of alert called Testing Event Invoked, which is a testing event that I've configured. It has a couple subscribers in here, and these people have SMS message um, phone numbers configured for them. We also have a channel in here called Twilio Messaging that I've configured. This is what integrates the PowerShell script that's going to send our messages. And so you can see that this is just a normal subscription like any other Operations Manager subscription. To test this out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a custom um, PowerShell line here to write to the event log. And what this does is it just writes a simple test event to our event log, and that will trigger a rule that I've set up to say, anytime I see this special event, I'm going to fire off an alert. And that, in turn, is going to trigger our subscription, which should trigger our script to actually send a notification. So let's go over and look at our monitoring pane. And if we have luck here, we should see that a new testing event has shown up. And within a few seconds, we should be able to see that the script has kicked off and sent us a text message. So switching over to the desktop of our trusty admin, Nigel Harding here, we can see that I've set up a Google Voice account for Nigel. and. What that does is it just gives us a way to easily see when we get a text message through the web here versus having to look at a phone. Um, Nigel was set up with a phone number in SCOM to direct to this message, and we can see that just now a new text has appeared. So if I go and open that up, you can see that it is the message that I had configured in the actual event. So Coming in through this text message is the full content of that, that event log, actually. So we can see that that's here. We can see that I've configured the SCOM server's sending phone number with 
as a contact so I can quickly identify it looks like Terminator and bad things are going on. So that's good. Um, the next thing we'd want to do is just let's take a look at what would happen if this were actually a phone call and not a text message. Back on the operations manager server again, I'm in now my channel, which is the command channel that actually calls the script. And you can see that I've changed the message type over from SMS to voice, which means that now instead of sending a text message, the uh, message that's sent will actually be uh, read to us by Twilio's uh, service over a phone call. So let's go ahead and trigger the message again and see what kind of phone call results. Ops alert today. It's SEOM. I know you're sleeping, but I'm lonely and bad things are happening in the data center and just kidding. This is only a test. So as you hear, we have a very comforting robot voice to read us the message in the middle of the night. And one last thing I'll point out is that all of this is actually logged in a trace log optionally, which contains all of the details about how the script went, um, whether or not one or more individuals who are on the subscription list didn't get sent a message either because they were missing a phone number or their phone number didn't work for some reason, or perhaps they uh, configure the schedule to where the current time that the alert's being generated, they're outside of their notification window, so they're not allowed to receive a phone call at a certain time of day, for example. So that's all here. And in the further videos, we will take a look at actually in depth how this script works, and then also later how to get this working in your environment as well. So thanks for watching.